Hi, my name is Josh Walk, and today I'm going to tell you some of the things you might not know that your iPhone can do. First, let's talk about how you can control your music without unlocking your iPhone. Simply double tap the home button and you can play, pause, change the song, and the volume without unlocking your iPhone. One of the great new features of the iPhone operating system is Siri, which allows you to control your iPhone through your own voice. Hold down the home button and you'll bring up Siri, your iPhone assistant. You can do this at any time with your iPhone. Next, we're going to talk about how to access your open applications. Double tap the home button while your phone is unlocked to bring up all applications that are currently open on your phone. From the open applications menu, you can scroll to the left and play and pause your music, lock the screen position, and adjust the volume. Now, let's talk about how to close applications. Once you can see all your open applications, you can press and hold on an application icon until they start to wiggle, and then you can press the minus button in the top left corner of that icon to choose which ones you would like to close. Moving and deleting applications is just as simple as managing your open applications on your iPhone. When deleting an application from your iPhone, simply press and hold the application icon until it starts to wiggle. Then, press the black X in the top left corner of the icon to delete the app. Note that the black X icon for deleting applications is different from the red minus icon for closing applications. Now let's talk about how to take a picture of what's displayed on your iPhone at any given time. To take a picture of your current screen on your iPhone, simply press the home and the lock button at the same time. Your screen will flash white, and then that means the picture will be saved to your camera roll and your photos. The Notification Center is a cool new feature on the iPhone which allows you to view your new notifications at any time. To open the Notification Center on your iPhone, simply pull down from the top of your screen. Now let's talk about how to change any basic settings on your iPhone. Your settings application comes pre-installed on your iPhone. Simply click the application icon to open the settings and from there you can change any setting that you'd wish on any application. From the settings menu you can change any application that you'd wish to show in the notification center. Sometimes your phone can run slowly. In this case a hard restart might help speed up your phone. To restore your phone, press and hold the lock and home button until you see the Apple icon appear on your phone. This should take roughly 10 seconds. There are a lot of ways you can control your iPhone with your headphones. You can play and pause music by single clicking the center of the control tab of your headphones. This can also be used to answer and end phone calls. By pressing and holding the center of the control tab on your headphones, you can launch Siri. To change the song on your iPhone through your headphones, you can double click to go to the next song or triple click to go back to the previous song. Coincidentally, you can adjust the volume on your headphones by pressing the minus button on the control tab or the plus button to increase the volume. Finally, we're going to talk about the difference between using your Wi-Fi or your data plan. To check if you have Wi-Fi or you're using your carrier's data plan, simply check the top left corner of your phone. From the settings, you can access your Wi-Fi settings. There, you can turn your Wi-Fi on or off, and you can also select which Wi-Fi hotspot you would like to use. When you're using Wi-Fi, you have no limit to the amount of data you can upload and download on your iPhone. Whereas when you're on your carrier's data plan, you only have a limited amount of data you can download and upload monthly. The Wi-Fi symbol looks like a wave branching out from a single point. Whereas, if you're on your carrier's plan, you will either have a 3G or a 4G symbol.